In this video, I'll present how to create an abstract class or interface class in C++. So I'll start out by including the iostream header so we can output some of our results using the standard C out. Now I create a abstract class or interface class called L. So this class L has a public virtual function. In this case, it's called a pure virtual function because our virtual char letter function is equal to zero. So L has no implementation of this letter function on its own. And it's virtual, so that means any derived class can implement this class letter. And moreover, because it's equal to zero, any derived class must implement this letter function, otherwise it's not valid. Now because L has only a pure virtual function, or because it has a pure vir virtual function, it is abstract. That means there's no concrete uh, way of creating an instance of L. So if we go down to our main function, right here on line 30, I have L, uppercase L and lowercase L as the variable. We have an error here by IntelliSense telling us that, hey, you're trying to create an instance of an abstract class. You can't do this because there's no implementation of our function letter. So I'm going to comment this out to get rid of that error. But there's also an error on this variable B. Now the problem with B, now before I describe our class A here, I'm going to describe B. So class B colon public L. So class B derives from L, so it implements the interface L. But the problem is that L declares a virtual char letter function that's a pure virtual function. So for B to be a valid implementation, it must implement our char letter function. So let's do that now. I'll do char letter. And I'll just return the character B. And that fixes the problem. So if I go back to the main function, you'll see that there's no longer a red underline under the variable B. And we fix that problem. Now if I go down in my uh, main function, I do a C out from a dot letter and b dot letter to verify a and b. Then I create a pointer. Well, it's perfectly fine to create a pointer of L because it doesn't actually create an instance of a class. So I have L uh, star LP. So LP is a pointer of type L. So that LP can point to our class A because there's an actual instance of A and it can call the letter function which we'll call A's letter function. LP can also point to B, so we can change LP from pointing to A to pointing to B anytime we'd like, and we can call LP letter. But even though A and B both implement a function called number, so if I scroll up and you'll look at our implementations of class A and class B, they both implement this number function, so number returns int, in A it returns 1 and B it returns 2. And even though it derives from both from L, if I try to call the number function from L, I get an error. Because the class L must implement its own function number or its own virtual function number. Or in this case, if we created a, uh, another pure virtual function called number, it would be fine. And I think I'm going to make that change. Uh, I'm going to do virtual int number equal to zero. So when I add this other virtual function, this pure virtual function in class L, and I scroll down to where I called number, it works. So I can remove this comment that said error, and everything's fine. So now let's compile and run the program and verify that it does work as expected. So here in my output, I'll move the output window to the side so we can look at the code at the same time we look at our output. So our a dot letter, as expected, returns the character a, this uppercase character a, b dot letter returns b. When I set our l pointer, our lp, to call our letter function when it's pointing to a, it returns a. Then I change the pointer to point to b, and it returns b. And then since it's still pointing to b, when I call lp, uh, number, it returns 2, the value that b returns. So that all worked as expected. And that concludes this demonstration on abstract and interface classes.